Samsung's latest smartphone arrives in the country this week. The Galaxy Note 9 is an absolute monster with a huge one terabyte worth of storage space and a massive battery. But is it the best phone of 2018? This phone is packed with features, including fast charging, wireless charging, stereo speakers, IP68 water resistance, expandable storage, and yes, it has a headphone jack. The screen is a gorgeous 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display. It's arguably the best display on the market with pixel perfect colors and deep blacks. And unlike the iPhone 10, there is no pesky notch eating into the top of the display. The Note 9 looks mostly the same as last year's model, but it's slightly thicker and heavier. I think most will be happy to make the trade-off given the large storage space and longer battery life. To unlock, you can use the fingerprint scanner. It's not so easy to reach if you have small hands, but you can use the iris scanner, facial recognition, or the pin code lock as an alternative. Like a lot of phones with wireless charging, the back is made of glass, which makes the device easy to slip out of your hand. And it's a fingerprint magnet. A protective case is a must. Samsung's claim of an all-day battery is no exaggeration. Compared to the iPhone X's 2,700 milliamp battery, the Galaxy Note 9 boasts a 4,000 milliamp battery. A week of tests proved that even with heavy usage, the phone still had plenty of power left at the end of the day. The phone gets a little warm while gaming, but is kept cool with the new water carbon cooling system. The Note 9 has the same camera module as the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, which was released in March this year, but this is by no means bad news. The Note 9 includes new intelligent camera software that is surprisingly useful. Floor detection lets you know if you have a dirty lens, a blurry image, or if you blinked while the photo was being taken. Automatic scene detection tweaks camera settings for the best possible image, but in general, there are only subtle changes. While this camera is potentially the best in class, I found that photos are slightly more saturated than those taken on an iPhone X. Some really like the saturated colors look, but it all comes down to personal preference. Video quality is excellent, and the Note can shoot in 4K at 60 frames per second. Super slow motion mode shoots 960 frames per second at 720p resolution. My favourite feature of the Note 9 is the overhauled S Pen. At first I was thinking, who uses a stylus in 2018, but I find myself using this regularly as a remote control. The new S Pen is powered by Bluetooth Low Energy. A double click switches between cameras, and a single click takes the photo. It can also be used to change music tracks, or play and pause videos. Plugging the Note 9 into a monitor gives you a full PC-like experience via the Samsung DeX application, without the need for a docking station. The S Pen can be used for switching between PowerPoint slides, and the always-on display allows you to make notes at any time without having to unlock your device. Samsung is offering the phone in 128 and 512 gigabyte storage options. With an external SD card, the phone could be upgraded to an insane one terabyte's worth of storage space. The Galaxy Note 9 ships with Android 8.1 Oreo. The Snapdragon 845 processor, paired with either 6GB or 8GB of RAM, makes this phone super snappy. This phone is expensive. The cheapest model is $1699, so it's hard to recommend if you've already bought a phone this year. That being said, if you want the absolute best phone in the market right now, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is the phone to beat. Thank you